when I went in to make coffee, I, I couldn't hold the coffee pot in that hand, and I dropped it to the floor with all the coffee, making a great big mess. When I got here, I asked Mary if she would please give me a, a kind of exercise that would get my hand working and my arm working, because by then my arm was acting up too. And she called Michael over, and she said, Michael, she's having trouble with her hand today, and said you might want to check her out. He, he checked my blood pressure, and he checked my smile, I did go to the hospital, and when I got there, they did all kinds of tests and an MRI, and they said that, that Michael's suspicions were correct, that I'd had a stroke. And the doctor there said I was lucky to have them to follow up on it when I simply asked for help. And I stayed in the hospital two days and I'm doing very well. So now I've kept coming here so they can straighten me out. And they are doing a wonderful job, I have to tell you that. I'm not ready to die. When I came back, I told Michael that he saved my life and he, I adopted him because he did save my life. And I appreciate it very much. It, it feels awesome. Um, Miss Jean is a friend <laughs> to a lot of us here and we've We've been friends for a long time and just thankful that she was here in the right place at the right time for us to catch that and, and give her the help that she needed.